Two trains leave stations 100 miles apart on parallel tracks 100 feet apart. So we have a station, two stations. This is the first station and that's the second station over here. The trains traveled toward each other, one going east and the other west, and each traveling at 47 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between the trains changing just as they pass each other? So let x be the distance after t hours from the first station. So let's see, this is x. Since the second train also traveling at the same speed, then the distance from the other station will also be equal to x after t hours. So we can also put this equal to x. Now let us denote the distance between the two trains as z. And we know this is 100 feet. Since the distance between the two stations is 100 mile, and this is x, and also that one is x, then this is 100 minus x minus x. 100 minus 2x. Now, since x is in mile, actually we need to convert this into miles, but we don't really necessarily need that. We just put this as it is. So, now by Pythagorean, in this right triangle, we have z squared equals 100 minus 2x squared plus 100 feet. As I said, actually we need to convert this, but later because we take the derivative and it is a constant, then the derivative will be zero, so we don't really need to convert it. Now take the derivative with respect to t to z d z d t equals using the chain rule two times one hundred minus two x. Take the derivative of the inside function with respect to t. So negative two dx dt. And for this one, since this is a constant, the derivative is equal to zero. So we can ignore it. Now the question is, how fast is the distance between the trains changing? So basically it asks about dz over dt. So what is dz over dt when they pass each other? So they pass each other exactly when, when this x is equal to 50 miles. Okay, but when x equals to 50 mile, then we have 2z dz dt, plug in x equal 50 here, 100 minus 100 is 0, and anything multiplied by 0 is 0, so this is equal to 0. Solving for dz over dt, we have dz over dt equals 0, without needing to know what is dz, actually this z is equal to the length, the distance between the two tracks, but we don't really need it, because 0 divided by 2z is equal to 0. So the distance between the trains changing at the speed 0 miles per hour when they pass each other.